Ask anyone and they will probably tell you they are going through COVID fatigue. It's actually a thing. In fact, UC Davis Health defines it in a study as tired of being cooped up, tired of being careful and scared. But what if I told you we could end this pandemic in just five weeks? An MIT trained physicist claims he has a theory that we can do just that. I am a physicist and complexity scientist. Uh, and I've been working on pandemics for 15 years. Dr. Yanir Baryam is an MIT trained data scientist who studies pandemics and is an expert when it comes to controlling infectious diseases. His recommendations were partly responsible for stopping Ebola in 2014, and he claims his complex theory could do the same to stop COVID-19 before a vaccine arrives. The crazy thing is that we're always just about five weeks away from getting rid of this disease. Sounds promising, but his theory takes discipline. What we really need to do is to implement a set of very strong actions. Dr. Baryam lists those actions on his website at ncoronavirus.org. There are nine specific measures on how to crush COVID-19 in just five weeks and fully reopen our economy, our schools, and our lives. The most important thing locally is staying away from other people because the way the disease transmits is by breathing the same air or touching the same surfaces. One of those measures is a lockdown, but not what you might envision, being cooped up and unable to leave your home. Dr. Baryam uses a theory called green zones, something we could even do at the county level. The goal is to go from neighborhood to neighborhood on a micro community level, getting coronavirus cases down to zero. You don't want to travel to other neighborhoods or other areas because that's how you transmit the disease from area to area. The first two weeks are used to isolate cases and stop transmission for 14 consecutive days. If you're not in a green zone, you can't travel outside your neighborhood. Then the next two to three weeks are used to effectively test, trace, and isolate anyone who's capable of transmitting the virus until your community is down to zero cases. What we're doing right now, you say, is we're fighting fire in one room, but it's breaking out in other areas. That's right. It's, it's all over the place, and, and we're constantly trying to deal with it. And, and we have to take super aggressive actions if the fire is burning all the time. If you don't think it can work, know this. This method was practiced and worked in Ireland, Iceland, and numerous other countries, including New Zealand, which only has a handful of cases right now and just experienced over 100 full days without community spread. And yes, it even worked for the most part in China with its 1.4 billion people. But here's the catch. One of the nine measures to crush COVID is getting everyone on board. And as we've seen in Ocean Beach, or the religious gathering in Cardiff of people packed together without masks, that's a hard thing to do. Everyone has to say, yeah, we're gonna do this together. And it's our responsibility. You can't wait for the government. You can't wait for, you know, whether it's the mayor or the county or the state. It has to be a community decision to do this. Dr. Baryam is also concerned about the number of states allowing children to go back to school. Again, he says in just five weeks practicing his theory, we could get our societies back to a circumstance where we can do all the things we want to do, including having our kids go back to school safely.